30th of December, I recorded a podcast. Well, it wasn't my podcast. It's from Paranormal Outreach is the name of it. And they had me on there and talk about all the paranormal stuff that I've experienced. Well, some of it. And I talked with a medium about things. So I kind of just want to go over everything. Like, not really what happened in it because I want you guys to go listen to it. It was uploaded today. Um, no, it was uploaded last night. Sorry. It was uploaded last night. And I kind of just want to go over some stuff about it that wasn't really gone over in the podcast. And then also some things that were in the podcast. Um, if you haven't listened to it yet, before you watch this, I recommend you go watch that. You go <laughs> listen to it first. Sorry, I'm not used to podcasts. So yeah, it's like on Spotify or anywhere you can listen to podcasts. It's just the paranormal outreach. And then you'll know it's mine. Because my name is in the description. Emily Emily Kirby. Not Epic Kirby. That's not my real name. I kind of figured you guys knew that. But just for the, some of those people who don't know. <laughs> my real name is Emily Kirby. Basically kind of what like sparked it. Like him reaching out to me to do this podcast. Um, I'm part of like this Facebook group. And they talk about porn, paranormal stuff. And I've just put on there like, hey, I kind of like do, does everyone, is, is everyone able to see like apparitions or is it just some people because it's like, I've only, I've never ever seen an apparition. I've only heard things or like only seen things move or something like that. And I've also get caught in feelings and I've been able to picture like the ghost in my head what they look like and when I really think about it I can picture things from like their lives <sighs> but anyways that was what I posted on there he contacted me he was like hey you want to talk about this on the podcast I'm like yeah sure I'm always down to like collab <laughs> or talk about this kind of stuff especially when like with the medium and he's also he's a paranormal investigator so uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, they talked about how they wanted me to get like an EVP thing or like a camcorder or whatever. And actually, I have ordered an EVP and I plan on using it when I, when I, I, I haven't gotten it yet, but when I do get it, I plan on doing a 3 a.m. challenge or video, whatever, with Shay maybe on this channel I don't know it depends on when we do it get ready for that video we're gonna do, probably do it at her place because that seems to be where most of like the activity that we've gotten is um I kind of do want to figure out what's going on here but I kind of want to start out over at her place because it seems very active over there so also they kept telling me not to do things by myself um, it's like I really want this old lady to move on. Um, so I might, I don't know. I could probably take care of that sooner I get professionals, but I really, really want to learn how to do this stuff myself. I really want to kind of become a medium or I don't know, whatever. I just want to be able to use the gifts that I already have and enhance them and learn how to use them and use them, you know? <laughs> I want to get more like into this stuff so that I can take care of this and be able to trust myself to take care of this stuff instead of having to hire other people to do it for me. Basically, if you've watched my other like videos about all those ghost experiences that I've had, I kind of went over everything that I've experienced. Um, I also have a video of me cleaning my room that has like some weird stuff that happened. And then I have the video, those, those videos are on my main channel, Epic Kirby. I keep promoting this video because like, bruh. <laughs> a lot happened, it was pretty crazy. But the video of 
at when I was at Shay's and we kind of tried to talk to something because we saw something fall um, before a white one of her white boards has fallen where we were just chilling and then she's also mentioned um, that she's seen an apparition of this lady that kind of is, is, is similar to the one that I pictured in my head during during the, the filming this video um, that I'm talking about the where the, yeah we just talked to them and so that's talking with ghosts and then I would also recommend watching um, the video after that it's not right after but like two videos later uh, Shay and I kind of get back together and talk about you know behind the scenes of what happened and when I listened to it with headphones and I also talked about what I heard there all these videos I would really recommend watching before giving any input <laughs> which honestly I would love input yeah I guess get ready for this next 3 a.m. video I'm pretty excited about it I'm also wanting to get more equipment for this kind of stuff but I just started out the EVB EVP because they really wanted me to get that and that's basically all I had money for <laughs> just go watch our stuff go listen to the podcast you know I really just really want you guys to know about everything that's going on I mean if you guys have any questions just ask and I can answer them in the best way that I can what I really need is just find someone that really knows about this stuff and they can help help me get there <laughs> it's so hard to like say but you get the drift right I sure hope so I honestly ever since the medium talked about her I've been trying to like sense her but I haven't been able to but whenever I'm at Shay's, I can, my senses are like heightened. I can definitely tell when something's there. I just want to, I want to learn, like, I want to know if like, there's like bad ghosts or good ghosts there. I mean, I definitely believe that like, you're in complete control of this stuff and you can't get hurt unless you let it and there's like you know these childhood games that you know like the Ouija board or Bloody Mary or something like anything like that um you can let something in so I don't want to play those games I probably never will I mean there might be a time when I have more experience in the future and I might mess with that stuff but I don't know I just really don't want to <sighs> I slowly want to learn this so I'm gonna start with the EVP and just ask questions and listening trying not to anger anything or invite anything in just kind of talk with what's already there so they also said that I can like get a hold of them later like the medium and the paranormal investigator guy if I have any questions or any new experiences to talk to them about um, and also in the uh, podcast medium uh, put out information about how to get a hold of her so you, like you know the listeners can get a hold of her so you know if you guys are watching this and you're all like oh my gosh I can kind of relate or you think you have other abilities you know whatever I suggest listening to the podcast and getting kind of an idea about this stuff and then listening at the end to get the medium's in, uh, information so you can get a hold of her and talk to her about whatever you're going through and get answers. It's like all oh, the overall feeling about the whole podcast, I have a good feeling about it, like it went really well. Um, there was a little time where like she asked me to describe what um, attached means and it's like I've always like known what it means but I don't have to describe it like there's so many words that are like that that we always use constantly and we're just like how do you describe that 
I don't know, but like you know what it means. So you guys, I'm not like a complete idiot. <laughs> I just didn't know how to describe it. I was like so nervous but excited to do this podcast. Like I didn't know what to expect. I kind of just wanted to like let it happen and just try to focus on what I experienced. And then like, of course, they asked all the questions that I couldn't think of. Like my dreams. I know I've had dreams in the past where it has come true but like I literally don't remember them except for that one that I talked about in the podcast and it's like I always write down my dreams but apparently those I didn't write down and I'm very upset about it and I also talked about how I'm having some dreams where people have died um I like to I can I can only remember two. I know there was three. <laughs> this is why I need to write things down. So the two that uh, I remember about people dying, like the first one was I was like in this school. My mom was teaching. She's a teacher, so I, that really fit, honestly. Um, but it was filled with like people my age. So I was like, I don't know, probably like a college class or something. But, um, like these guys came in and like we kind of all got down no uh sorry it's been a while um these guys came in and we were just sitting at our desks kind of like being quiet just waiting for you know because he had a gun and stuff so we were just waiting for something to happen i guess and then the guy like pulls me aside I have no idea why because all I really did was just like listening to him talking to someone else and what I heard was like he was gonna like 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 set up a smoke bomb or something in there and I had remembered something that happened in a dream the night before just so weird like my dream self remembered something that my other dream self happened to uh <laughs> But, um, I learned, like, you know, get down on the ground or whatever. I mean, I honestly don't think that would have helped in that situation. But I remembered that, and so I went back to everyone. I'm like, hey, get on the ground. Because, like, smoke rises. And so we're all just laying on the ground. <laughs> and this dude comes back in, and he shoots, start, like, start, starts shooting random people. Um, basically anyone who talked or tried to leave. My goodness, sorry, my window's open and like some driver just came down like crazy. Like it was going so fast and like swerving. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. So he started shooting at random people who he just didn't like and um, I remember one like at the end of the dream I was like under a desk like one of those really long desks and there was a couple people under there too and um he had like a die and he'd roll it and like whatever number he got he'd shoot that person in line like that number like if you're like the second person he'd shoot too and i just remember he kept rolling and rolling and rolling and basically everyone underneath the same table i was under was dead and I kind of felt like I was next, but it never got there because I woke up right before that. So I've never died in my dreams. And then another one is pretty interesting. Like I'd say it's funny, but it's not funny how he died. Uh, it was AJ was in it, and apparently he was Spider Man. <laughs> and like there were these guys who were chasing us in a car, and. Um, AJ like finally was like, I'll just, I'll just get out and fight these guys. And so he got out and I stayed in the car and some of the, you know, evil guys henchmen came over to my car trying to just like distract me or something. I don't know. I don't really remember what they were doing. I just, they were like acting really kind of weird and stupid. 
and I wasn't really paying attention to what was happening with AJ. And then um, once I happened to look back and I saw the evil guy kind of push or throw AJ onto like this really huge like spike thing and it just went like right through him and it was pretty pretty gory and the evil guy kind of came up to me he had like no plans to kill me he was just gonna let me go he just really wanted to take care of the spider-man so i kind of asked him like hey can i like take his body and I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. So they removed his body from the spike and I put him in the back seat. And I just like, I knew that the Spider-Man suit would like self-heal him. And it worked and he lived. <laughs> but like the part, like it was pretty weird and interesting. Uh, but the part that really gets me is how he died and like the fact that I saw it and it was pretty gory and graphic. But the one that like really hurt more is the shooting, the school shooting one, just because of how many people died right next to me and I even saw like their body shake when they got shot and it was just very ugh, realistic. Right. My ring light made a sound. But Ugh. That ring light gives me creeps now because it keeps turning off randomly. I don't know, I probably just need a new ring light. Just if you have any questions, ask. Um, if you have any input, then like comment down below, let me know, or get a hold of me, whatever. And also get ready for the 3am video. I can't exactly tell you when it's gonna be up because I have to wait for it to actually come in. And then Jay and I are going to have to figure out when I can go over there because she lives, she lives pretty far, so. Yeah, it's most likely going to be next month. But I don't know if it's going to be on this, on this channel or my main channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go listen to the podcast if you haven't, which by, you know, the time you're watching this, so at the end of my video. Still haven't watched it um or listened to it um you're probably pretty lost <laughs> so go listen to it and watch all these other videos that i've uploaded and that's it